How's it going guys? My name's Shane and welcome back to the Horror Basement. Today I've got a little bit of a rant video for you, uh, but first I want to start with a little friendly word of advice. Generally speaking, if anyone tries to tell you that stuff or things in the past were better than they are now and we need to go back to how things were back in the good old days, that person is generally trying to sell you a crock of shit and you shouldn't listen to them. Now, in regards to what I'm going to tell you about how things were better about this one specific thing in the good old days and how we should go back to that, you can disregard that advice uh, because I am trustworthy, I have my own YouTube channel, and I'm standing in front of a green screen, therefore I can be trusted. So my policy proposal is that we shorten the lengths of movies. If you've been to the movies recently, um, and this really again goes as in regards to movies you see in the theater, which we need to get back to that as well, but that's a whole other video topic. Uh, in regards to going and seeing movies in the theater, if you go nowadays, most movies are between two and three hours long, and 65% of that runtime is mostly CGI. And as many of the uh, Horror Basement OGs, or the people that have been with the channel for a long time know, uh, since this channel started, I have been reviewing classic horror movies out of a 50 movie uh, DVD box set that um, many of them are not very good, but the saving grace of all of those movies are that most of them are between 80 and 90 minutes long. So that's you're looking at less than an hour and a half runtime total. And why movies were better back then is because that allowed for um, a matinee or a double feature to be far more feasible. Uh, so back in the day when movie theaters were called Nickelodeons, you would actually go out and see two movies in one evening. Uh, now, if you were to try to do that in the year of our Lord 2021, you would probably be in for about seven hours total, considering the uh, previews and everything. And at no point during that time would you be given any respite to re-up on snacks or go pee or anything. But the beautiful thing is that back in the day, they'd have these double features. Each movie is, you know, 84, 87 minutes long. They introduce the characters... You know, they have their conflict, they, you know, the monster kills them, they kill the monster, boom, they're out of there, your love interests kiss, done. And then you'd have like a 10 minute little intermission where they'd be showing like Popeye cartoons or some shit, where you could go take a piss, or smoke a cigarette, or buy more popcorn, and then you'd go in and see an entire different movie probably for less money than it would to just see one movie now. And you'd still be out of there in the same time it takes you to watch one movie in current times. So under my uh, proposal, you would be able to take your significant other out to dinner, head from there to the movie theater, watch Attack of the 50-Foot Booger Monster, take a pee break, watch uh, Sorority Slumber Party Blood Sacrifice, and then you are still out of there before the bars are closed. And doesn't that sound like a lovely date for you and your, your wife or girlfriend? But this not only makes sense from a convenience perspective, but from one of economics. If movies are shorter, they would end up being cheaper to produce. Which not, not only means that you could sell ticket prices to these double features for less, as I've stated, but also uh, studios in Hollywood might be willing to take a chance on a movie that wouldn't get made now. As you all know, um, Disney owns everything, and when it, within the next 10 to 15 years, there will be no more content made for adults. But if this were to happen my proposal, we would be able, you know, 
movie studios all over the world would just be throwing money out because you could you could have a nationwide picture. You make it for fifty five hundred thousand dollars. It, it makes five million. This is exactly what happened, and specifically with horror movies in the late seventies, early eighties, with the explosion of the South slasher genre. These movie companies realized they could pump out these movies that were really simple and cheap to make, and they were making money hand over fist. And that led to the 80s being a, a renaissance and a resurgence for the horror genre as a whole. But that's it. That's just my opinion. And seeing as I do have a smartphone and a green screen, I figured everyone in the world should probably hear it. So let me know down in the comments if you agree or if you are a stand for the three to three and a half hour movies, uh, which in that case you're just wrong. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Thank you.